Yeah, we're back. And it turned out that I just needed to cast the return. I went back to the ship and picked up those items I was talking about. Got a small mithril, uh, 100 gold coins, and a grain food, which gives you a uh, permanent increase in MP, which I gave to Julian. Got an extra three. Very nice. Uh, so, I believe this barrel here is the one that has the power wine in it, so I'm going to head that way. Man, everyone hates Gracia. A 12 year old boy can sure take a good lance to the chest. Cool. Getting some nice damage there. Ah, yes, we don't yet have a. Range three. Oh, ice arrow, nice. And a great level up there. Kate's got two ice balls. <laughs> Yeah, these mines don't really seem like much of a problem. Right. Johnny baby, it's time to slaughter some more barrels. Yeah, fuck off! Yes! The first barrel to fall in Scenario 3. Feel honoured, young warrior. Oh, it's a shame, it's a shame. I need Gracie to do some healing. Special, oh. I wanted a special man. Oh, nice level up there. Better safe than sorry. That's the level for Gracia there. Nice. Getting some good defense. Kind of the opposite of scenario two, where we were getting nothing. How typical. 14 damage. Never mind, eh? Never mind. I think this barrel has an item in it too. No, it doesn't. Shit. Yeah, um, I think this chapter is actually quite short. Take us too long to get through it. There's only four battles in this chapter, and this is already the second one. 
And as you can see, they're not really large or sprawling battles as of yet. This battle. Changing camera angles, whoa! Hmm, nothing in that one. Either. Well, to be fair, I think it's only a healing drop that we're, we're missing out on, so I'm not going to be too fast. To be perfectly honest with you. God damn. I'm kind of hoping that Gracie just starts to tank, like as he as he gets uh, increases in levels. I'm kind of hoping that his uh, his defense just increases massively. Because as you can see, the enemies are pretty much prioritizing Gracie over everybody else. I'll check up on the uh, shining spell for you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I have an idea. I, it, hmm, it might be that the shining spell's power is directly proportional to the amount of magic points you use. Because as, you, as I say, it uh, it wipes out your your magic points entirely. I think it might be a proportional dealio. So if you attack with a full magic bar, then you'll do much more damage, sort of thing. It makes sense. Obviously. Now what to do? Get some experience from the dire wolves or take out the uh, the monk. Provided Grace here just does a bit of healing, we should be able to tank any uh, sort of spark attacks. Fine, we're fine. You can't change the camera angles with magic attacks, though, I don't think. That would just be crazy. Oh no, I should have attacked with my halberd. Damn it! Well, our masked monk friend here, he's uh. He's done. He's got no magic left in him. He's used up all his juice. And if I had a knife, I could attack that other guy. Actually, no, hang on a minute. I'm just gonna stretch this out as much as possible. Try and maximize the amount of experience, because my guys are usually a bit, a bit more juiced up at this point. The old power level in. <laughs> All right, I think uh, the time has come. Daddy. 
suck my balls. increase there, just what I need. Hey. 